it's Ben here and in this quick tutorial we're going to have a look at how we can select ranges of our clips on different layers so different audio layers or different video layers in your timeline now when we press I on the keyboard and then move to a different point and press O it's going to mark an in and out point but it's normally going to remain on the main storyline now if we hover over uh, some other clips here I press I and O you can see it's still actually applying that to the main storyline now the trick to kind of change this is if we tap R for the range tool and then hover over one of our connected clips you can see I can select any one of my audio layers here I can now select the range on that audio layer using I and O so it's just jumping to that range selection tool that will allow you to be more specific about what you're selecting and which layer you're selecting things on so just tap the R key um, and then you'll be able to select ranges using I and O on any layer in your timeline now once you've finished with the range selection tool you will probably want to jump back to the selection tool and I'm just going to tap A to do that. Now you can access these tools if you're not too familiar with the shortcuts from the menu uh, just up here in the middle left of your screen. So I've got my selection tool which is the default tool that you'll normally be using in Final Cut Pro 10 uh, and then I've got the range selection tool and the shortcut for that is R if we want to select it. So hopefully uh, this quick tutorial is useful and helps you to kind of edit a bit more quickly, uh, make selections where you need to do things like dipping down your audio or raising up your audio with a range on a connected clip uh, and also to get that kind of nice precision when you're hovering over a layer and you want to mark an in point and then play through and mark an out point to make sure you're marking those in and out points in exactly the right spot. Now this question popped up on one of the Facebook groups. Do leave me any comments below if you have your own questions about Final Cut Pro 10 um, and I look forward to seeing you on the next tip or tutorial.